What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stacy Will. If you've never been here before, uh, today we're going to run to Raton. It's a motorcycle camp out down in New Mexico. I just say it's down from here, but it's in northern New Mexico. But anyway, Google Raton, you'll figure it out. Um, I'm waiting on Tara to get here. She was in a video uh, a couple weeks ago. We did Independence Pass. Um, it was her first big motorcycle ride in the mountains. Before that, she had only really ridden around Denver. Uh, we've been friends since we were 12 or 13 years old, so that was a really cool experience to share with her. Pushed her a little out of her comfort zone, and she just got to kind of see where she was comfortable as a rider. and. She's ready to go on her first big motorcycle camp out slash multi-day trip. So I'm gonna take her down to Raton. Um, and I honestly don't really have a plan. <laughs> um, I am also on my Sportster. So y'all have probably never seen this bike before. It's never been on the channel. So unless you followed me over from Instagram and have been following me on Instagram for years, you probably didn't even know I had another motorcycle, but I do. I still need to braid my hair and get this bike packed up. I'm not taking too much with me on this trip this weekend. Um, just pretty much change of clothes and tools and um, my camera. <laughs> so I guess I'll get that all done while we wait for Tara and then we'll hit the road. Tara and I ended up leaving pretty late from Denver, but with only 200 miles between us and Raton, we had plenty of time to take the scenic route down south for the day. A few gas stops later, we arrived in Pueblo to check out a brewery, bakery, and music venue that quite a few people have recommended to me. Built into the historic Pueblo Jail and Police Station, Brew's Ale House is truly a brewery unlike any other I've been to. Same for you, we're gonna go with the black vinyl. These are a little bit more hoppy, if you will. Any with your little bit of tartness. Set up color and taste. We got your seltzer, probation, leaded, and any with the black vinyl. Even if craft beers and seltzers aren't your thing, the food alone is worth visiting for. And I think this footage will do a better job explaining that than I possibly ever could. I'm still thinking of that blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> we are at spot number two on our little trek down to Raton for run to Raton. Uh, we decided to stop out here at the Pueblo Reservoir, Pueblo Lake State Park, something like that. I'll put the actual name on the screen here. Um, this water is the perfect temperature. I could be here all day. <laughs> Seriously, uh -huh. you don't even need to go to Raton. Yeah, like, I think this might be the highlight of the entire trip. But, we just decided to get in our entire clothes because we're going to dry off anyway here in the next hour. It's like 100 degrees out. So, we're going to hang out here for a little bit. And then, next on the list is Bishop's Castle. Um, it is a man-made castle. Passed through, like, three generations. You'll, you'll see it here soon. But... It's supposed to be a pretty cool little ride, so I'll take you along that ride with us and show you the castle, and then we will start heading to return.
Located along the Highway of Legends Scenic Byway in the wet mountains of southern Colorado, you'll find Bishop's Castle. We are going to go all the way up there. In 1959, Jim Bishop paid $450 for two and a half acres of land and eventually began construction on his castle in the mountains. For nearly 60 years, Jim has been constructing one of the most impressive roadside attractions in Colorado that's completely free to visit and is always open. That's wobbly. Cool. Well, if I die, I think we're all going to die. So it's a great knowing you all for five minutes. We're just south of Trinidad right now, so we just gotta go over the pass, um, set up camp, and go find some more food, and then party time. Yeah, they, we How'd know the person's truck. Huh? How'd you find these guys? We just Waiters rolled up on okay, us, like right here. <laughs> Finally, we had made it to Raton, set our campsites up, and eventually headed over to the main event area to grab dinner at Gate City, a bar and eatery owned by some of the same folks that put this tiny little motorcycle party together in town. Okay, after a ton of searching, we finally found a liquor store that was open. Um, well, gas station. But normally when there is booze in my lap, that means it's time to turn the cameras off and go party. Tomorrow, we will go ride part of the Enchanted Circle and find a couple little cafes, bars and grills, and some cool roads and do it all over again.
I would have left the flames off of it. With we sent it through the flames, I think looks fake, but the rest of it I thought turned out pretty good. Yeah. We, we try our best, but uh So people ask me all the time how I find like food spots to go to when I'm traveling. Honestly, all I do is use Google on my phone and I look at the like photos of the food and the reviews mildly and I make a decision. Because <laughs> even a terrible photographer can't like mess up good looking food. But this place seems to have some good reviews. Just a little uh, like burrito taco truck. So we're gonna check it out. <laughs> I don't know. Five and a half Are you shitting me? Five and a half, that's it? Hey, that's more than half on the scale. <laughs> I'm I feel like I'm gonna like take my foot off. Oh yeah, you got about seven that time. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you, you do it. Tara and I love to give each other a hard time, but when you've known someone for more than half your life, that's usually how it goes. With rain clouds moving in, we decided not to ride out to Red River and instead headed up to meet up with some friends that were just down the road. Unfortunately, my GoPro mount couldn't handle the vibrations of my Sportster and eventually snapped off my handlebars. Luckily, we recovered the GoPro, but it was definitely a lost cause attempting to film with it any further.